What is basic can and full can? Let's figure out answer to these question in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwarya Patta. This video is part of a course that is introduction to Otisa. So without any further delay, let's get started. Now let's quickly jump into our topic to understand about basic can and full can. To start with, let's understand about the basic can. Basic can has only one message buffer for receive and transmit messages. The received message can either be accepted or ignored after acceptance filtering. Even the decision to either process a message or to ignore is also taken care by the acceptance filtering. The acceptance filtering of the node is handled by software in the basic can. To reduce the software load at the nodes, there is a possibility to ignore some messages by ignoring specific identifiers. This is realized by Bitmask for the message identifiers. Moving on, let's understand about full can. There are 8 to 16 memory buffers for each transmitted or received message. In this case, the acceptance filtering is done by hardware and not by the software. Since the acceptance filtering is done by the hardware, the software load is tremendously reduced. Every buffer can be configured to accept message with the specific IDs. Configuring each buffer for each message ensures that the data consistency is maintained in full can. The choice between full can and basic can depends on the specific requirements of the application. Full can is often preferred for modern automotive and industrial applications that demand higher data rates, large data payloads, and more extensive network configurations. On the other hand, basic CAN is commonly used in simpler or older CAN applications where lower data rates and smaller data payloads are sufficient. After looking into few details of full CAN and basic CAN, now let's try to understand what exactly is the difference between full CAN and basic CAN. The first difference is full CAN can be used only for receiving a single type of message per mailbox. Whereas on the other hand, basic CAN configuration can accept messages with a range of identifiers per mailbox. The second difference is, full can uses hardware buffer for message filtering, whereas on the other hand, basic can uses software buffer for message filtering. The third difference is, RTO feature is available only for the mailbox that is set as full can, whereas on the other hand, basic can does not have the RTR feature enabled. The fourth difference between the basic can and the full can goes like this. Full can does not require the controller to be interrupted for each message as it can filter from hardware level itself. Whereas on the other hand, basic can requires the CPU to be interrupted every time a message is received to determine whether it should be accepted. Moving on to our fifth difference. Full can takes less time and money in the development since the configurations involved are less. Whereas on the other hand, basic can takes more money in the development phase and the time taken to configure is also huge because of its complex work features. Let's move ahead to our sixth difference. Full can is used in larger networks where multiple nodes are connected to the network and more advanced error handling and filtering mechanism is required. Whereas basic can is used in smaller networks where the number of nodes is limited and a simpler communication architecture is sufficient. The last difference between full can and basic can goes like this. Full can requires more memory as it needs to store more information about the network and the message being transmitted. Whereas on the other hand, basic can does not use any extra RAM memory as it stores predefined register memory of can controller. So these were the few differences between full can and basic can. If there are any other differences you could list, then you can drop them in the comment section. So this video was all about understanding what exactly is full can and basic can. Thank you so much for watching our video content. If there are any queries related to the video, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.